Hey everybody, this is Don from China Life. Also, rebranding as Mayleaf, and I'm in Camden Town. It's four o'clock on the dot. Being half Swiss, I'm a sucker for punctuality. We are outside Camden Town tube station, as I can see, and as you can see, and this is our first foray into Facebook Live. So, this is our first test out on to see how Facebook Live works for us. As you can see, we're near Camden Lock. If you look behind me, you can see, as usual, every single day, we have a very, very busy, busy Camden Lock, and I'm trying not to get into the way of too many people. Very, very busy Camden Lock. For those of you that don't know, Camden Lock is a real hub in London of the art scene. It's also got a lot of shops. It's got a market. It's got a canal. It's one of the most kind of uh, well-known attractions, not just for tourists, but also for people shopping in London. And there's a whole market behind me, as you can see. And most people, when they leave Camden Tube Station behind me, they turn that way and they go up to Camden Lock. But little do they know that that way there's a really good tea house. So we're going to go and try and explore the streets of Camden and I'm going to show you the way to our tea house. So follow me. Hopefully you can hear me guys all right. I know that uh, this was quite short notice so uh, I don't know how many of you are out there but we're going to be posting this video on Facebook and also on YouTube as well. So hopefully you guys can pick up the replay. Hopefully you can hear me well enough. So this is Camden Tube Station. Very busy, lots of people as usual. If you are about and you uh, are watching this, then please do say hi in the comments section below. It'll be really nice to see who's out there. Right, so we left the busier part of Camden. Now we're heading down towards the China Live Tea House, soon to be rebranded as Mayleaf. Now, anybody who follows our YouTube channel will know that Mayleaf is. Uh, is our brand new project. It's more of an evolution of China Life and uh, so the rebrand is happening in about a month's time. 7th of November we're changing our signage in our shop front but let me give you a little feel of what it's like in Camden here. It's just impromptu street performance. There you go. The kind of things you see when you come to Camden. So, so for those of you who um, are watching this on YouTube, um, we're going to be doing this as a kind of informal thing, these Facebook Live things. We'll see how it works for us, but don't worry, we're not going to stop doing our YouTube videos. That's still obviously going ahead. We're going to be hopefully actually ramping them up and doing more videos if we possibly can. But why not go over to our Facebook page, uh, make sure you click hi and uh, click like and uh, you can get notifications when we do these live events so these Facebook live events we're going to be using much more for a kind of behind the scenes informal look at what we're doing here at uh, China Life and Mei thank you Rachel nice to see you too um, it's uh, it's good to see some comments popping up um, so yeah we're going to be using this for a more informal look at what we're doing here just a bit more behind the scenes a little bit more um, spontaneous so hopefully you like it. So get on over to Facebook and check it out. And if you're watching us on Facebook and you don't know that we have a YouTube channel, you need to get over there. There are lots of tea heads over there who are um, really enjoying uh, talking to each other. It's a bit of a forum on YouTube. So please get over to YouTube, subscribe to our channel, and you can get more of our educational videos and more of our formal videos. Right, we are nearly there. So. Up there is where all the madness is. Down here it's a little bit more tranquil. A little bit more, not too much more. And uh, it's a, a chance for people to escape Camden Market and actually have a nice cup of tea. If you look up here, people love to hoot as usual in most cities. If you look up here, you can see there's a really nice venue called The Forge. That's a nice music venue. There's also a nice uh, coffee shop up there. Yes, I do drink coffee occasionally. Um, and uh, this place is really good as well. This is the Blues Kitchen. The Blues Kitchen is a nice uh, restaurant and uh, music venue. So lots of uh, bands playing here. But we're nearly there. We are nearly there. So 
you can hopefully hear it's a little bit quieter and we are approaching I'm going to show you Acumedic Acumedic is our medical brand which I can talk about if you're interested in but we'll uh, we're focusing on China Life right now and here we are if you look behind me China Life sign this is our tea house here China Life as I said 7th of November we're changing it's going to be May Leaf um, and so this sign is going to change it's getting a bit old and needs needs a change uh, soon but let's go in and see what's happening don't know all right so we're in the tea house here people are serving cu customers this is Gavel this is you did so they uh, are busy busy I'm not going to disturb them too much let me show you hi Rui nice to see you let me show you our tea selections here so you can see our little homage to tea here so a whole load of teas here I hope that you'll be able to get a good feel for all the teas that we have we've got our bar menus here and they're going to be uh, I'm disturbing customers so I, I shouldn't talk too loud um, but they are making cocktails and making uh, pure teas obviously and uh, basically hopefully presenting our teas, our leaves in the best way that they possibly can. You can take a look at some of our products here. You can see this is our Sacred Owl. These are our new Gushus that have just come in. Our new Gushu cakes. I know Rui, you've, you've got some of these so um, be interested to see how you feel about them. I know you've left some tasting notes which is really really great. We've got Tiger Spirit there. We've got some Jade Star for those of you that want to get tea drunk and we've also got some of the Gong Fu wares. For those of you who watched uh, the YouTube channel, you'll know about the Gong Fu Guru. So this is our new Gong Fu set, which is just in here. So a whole load of things. Let me quickly, quickly show you sneak peek of next door. Very, very quickly. So this is our skincare range, if you're interested. You can see Sinensis Skincare, that's just a quick sneak peek. I'll let you know a little bit more about that at some point. But we're focusing, obviously, um, on teas. You can, uh, let me see if I can get behind the bar and see what they're doing here. Lucy. Hi. For those of you on YouTube, Hello. you know Lucy. How's it going? It's good. I'm actually in the middle of making a cocktail, Imperial Sunrise. It's one of you our classics. Imperial yes. Sunrise is a classic. Imperial Sunrise is Longjing green tea. And the Longjing green tea is blitzed with goji berries. We use... Okay, so she's about to blitz with goji berries. So let's see if I can get a close-up. Okay, are you ready? Here we go. <laughs> so super noisy, but basically it's a Longjing. So the same Longjing that we... Um, sell so really really high quality Longjing tea and then we uh, mix it with goji berries and mandarin uh, zest and it makes a really really lovely zesty um, bright antioxidant packed tea which is really really good thank you Rui I'm happy that you're tasting the, ba uh, the uh, Lao Banjang tomorrow I uh, hope you enjoy it I know you're a Lao Banjang fan and uh, hi to uh, oh, I'll say hi to Lucy for you. Uh, Lucy? Hey. Rachel says hi. Hi, Rachel. Okay, so. So it's all done now. You can see, let's see if I can get a picture of this. So you can see the, the Imperial Sunrise. And a nice little garnish on top. Let me just take a quick shot of it. Okay, so that's this the kind of thing that we do here we make sure that we uh, make everything fresh to order and that's really really important to us now I'm going to see if I can get a tea myself you did say hello first of all. Hi. hi Facebook and timeline <laughs> um, so um, what's your favorite tea um, okay I really like white teas and black teas so, so I'm kind of on the other spectrum the two and my new white tea favorite, I think, is Silver Needle because it's, it's, the new batch is so good. It's yeah. just really fresh. Yeah, the new batch of Silver Needle, if you haven't tried it, is it's it's a real, it's a real, real winner. That's definitely true. Um, so, I'm going to see if I can get some tea for myself. 
Lucy, could you make a tea for me? I will make you a tea. Yeah, yes. anything. You, anything. You surprise me. Okay, so I can see lots of people looking at me. Um, so I'm going to head over here. You can see behind me, this is our herbal dispensary for our clinic. A couple of shy receptionists. We won't disturb them too much. And then we're in our clinic room area. And you can see our clinic rooms. So this is why I'm a bit quieter here, because these are our clinic rooms. And uh, let me just go into a quieter office. OK, so now we're in a slightly quieter office. That was your quick uh, little tour of Camden. So um, as I said, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be using these uh, Facebook Live sessions for much more of a kind of informal way of talking to everybody. Um, we're thinking of different ideas. If you have any ideas, please do let us know. But something, why is it not in focus? Let me see if I can focus it. Not the most attractive lighting here, but we'll make do. Um, so yeah, we, we, if you have any ideas of ways that we can use this Facebook Live, we're thinking of doing some questions and answers um, so we can um, answer questions live. Um, we can also um, answer questions that you may have posted in the comments of YouTube or also in the comments um, on the Facebook page. Hopefully, you Facebook users will get over to YouTube and use, you YouTube users will uh, check out our Facebook so that we can bridge the gap between the two platforms and uh, have some nice forums and some nice conversations. Um, so we're going to be doing that. We're probably going to be doing this once a week. Let's see how it works. And uh, let me just quickly take my jacket off. It's hot in here. Hold on one second. I have to put the camera down. One second. All right. I'm back. That's better. Um, so yes, um, I'm hoping that we can develop a little bit of a forum here and that you guys can uh, take part and enjoy um, the conversation. I do have one favour to ask from all of you guys, um, and that is that uh, we have been very kindly uh, nominated as the best shop in Camden Town. Now you've, you've seen a little glimpse of Camden Town and you've seen up in the market how busy it is and how many shops it, uh, there are up there. So we're very honoured that um, Camden Town uh, Time Out uh, has um, nominated us as one of the best shops in Camden Town. So if possible, I would love it if we could uh, try to win this uh, one. Last year, we came second place, which was a real honour for us that we came second place. Um, and um, we lost out to Camden Market. Now, Camden Market, as you see, is a massive, sprawling market. There's hundreds of stalls. So um, we felt, let me just quickly see if I can clean the camera. We felt that it was a little bit unfair that we were being pitted up against uh, an entire market, which is one of the biggest tourist attractions in London. But this year, I think we can beat it. So we came second place last year. Let's see if we can do it. So if you guys could, it would be really, really helpful if you guys could um, go to uh, Google, just type in Love London Awards timeout. And if you find the Camden um, uh, Borough, so you go to the timeout page, find the Camden Borough, and if you can go to the shop section and vote for us, China Life, we're not May Leaf yet, so vote for us, um, China Life. And even if you are from the States, because I know a lot of people, um, especially on YouTube, follow us from uh, the US and from Canada, from Germany. So even if you haven't uh, been here before, oh, my tea has arrived. So you're not going to tell me which one it is, right? No, you've got to guess it. I've got to guess it. Okay, well, let's see if you guys can guess it. I'm going to give you a glimpse. I already know which one it is. <laughs> you've given me an easy one, which is very, very kind of you. Uh, any ideas? Any ideas? Um, I will let you know. Thank you, Lucy. Um, so the competition um, is not only open to UK residents, George. Anybody around the world can vote. That's why I'm calling out all the troops from YouTube. I'm calling out all the troops, uh, troops from Facebook. Um, please, guys, if you could uh, just go to the Love London Awards. So that just type into Google Love London Awards. Oh, the staff have very kindly put a little flyer here to remind me. So this is the awards. So all you have to do is go to this address and you can um, find us. We're in Camden Town and we're the shops. If you could vote for us, 
that would be amazing. So you don't have had to have come here. It's not like you need to have been here. Hopefully, if you follow us on YouTube, you know what we do. Um, and if you uh, like what we do and you like our approach to tea culture, then please, please, please do vote for us. It would really, really make a, a big difference, especially with our relaunch. Rachel, you think it's duck shit. I realise that the um, I have a distinct advantage in that I can smell this uh, tea and I've got a very close-up look. I will say it's not duck shit. Let me give you a, a little bit of a closer look of the leaf. Just a bit. And I'll see if there are any other guesses out there. But it's not duck shit. But it is an oolong tea. That is for sure. It is an oolong tea. So let me just taste it. So please do let us know how you feel these Facebook things should be used. As I said, it's brand new for us. We just uh, had a meeting about two days ago and uh, one of our um, uh, uh, members of staff, one of the team, Claire, Claire, you're out there. I hope you're watching. Um, she, she basically said, time to do Facebook Live, Don. So uh, here I am on a Saturday. Uh, George, everything is mirrored. Oh, no. Mm, let me see. I don't know how to do... There are no controls on here apart from switching the camera around, which will do this, which is not good. Um, hmm. I will have to try and figure out what the technical issue is there. I, I can see it mirrored in my camera as well, but I thought that everything it was okay on your side. Anyway, we'll try and sort out those technical difficulties. As I said, we're just trying to get a feel for what we can do here. So we're thinking of doing live tastings with you guys. We could potentially do a hangout where we all kind of um, talk um, tea. Maybe we can share the same tea. Maybe we can do some question and answers where you guys just fire questions over um, to us and uh, we can try our best to answer them on the spot. You can also leave questions in the comments below this post. Um, and if you're watching um, on YouTube, then put some comments and questions in the uh, section below. And then maybe at our next uh, live event, uh, we will answer those questions. Let me give you a quick heads up on what's coming up um, on YouTube. Um, today we released a uh, video about um, raw Gong Fu Brewing. So it was a real, it was a little bit of a step outside of what we normally do. It was more of a kind of artistic, um, I, even if I say so myself, uh, a slightly more artistic take on, on, on Gong Fu Brewing. We were just looking at really capturing the textures, the sounds, and the kind of beauty, the raw beauty of Gong Fu Brewing. So if you haven't checked it out, then head over to our YouTube page. It's the latest upload. It's called Gong Fu Raw. And uh, just finished editing that last night, which is why I'm looking pretty tired. It's a bit disconcerting to stare at yourself and, uh, and talk to yourself, wondering if people are watching. Um, but yes, it's live. It's, it's, um, it's out there. Um, so uh, please do check it out. And uh, you can uh, watch um, us do Gong Fu Brewing. Um, this weekend, I'm going to be doing... Uh, tasting with this oh, this tea here which is Bai Jiguan um, so we're going to be doing a tasting I'm really excited to try the new Bai Jiguan oolong from Wuyi area hopefully it's a good one I'm sure it will be um, and um, and yeah it's been a while since I've tasted a really good Bai Jiguan so I'm going to be filming that tomorrow and then I'm, that will go up next weekend um, the room that I'm in here is what we call the forum. This room is where we do tea lectures. So if anybody's in London and you're interested in doing tea lectures, wow, the lighting really isn't flattering here. Anyway, um, we do tea lectures, we do tea tastings, we do tea events here. So you guys can um, sit and taste with us. We do after dark events as well. So sometimes we do events where we have um, tea drunk sessions, so you can come and sit. It's much more intimate, and we sit and we drink tea together, um, eat some snacks that pair really well with the tea, and really try to kind of have that full tea experience. We also do sometimes cinema events. So if you're in London, or if you're planning to visit London, then please do join our newsletter. If you go to chinalifeweb.com, you can find the newsletter uh, subscribe page, um, and that will give you lots of information whenever we're doing the events so that you can be the first to know. Okay, so the tea is Eastern Beauty or Oriental Beauty. 
for those of you who don't know, Eastern Beauty or Oriental Beauty or Bai Hao Oolong is really one of the most delicious or at least the most fragrant of the Taiwanese oolongs. Um, it can be bug bitten, so if it's bug bitten then it adds extra terpenes to the leaf which makes it even more aromatic and you have this amazing smell of li uh, linalol which is this lemony grapefruity smell but also it's in rose and it's in geranium that kind of very citrusy floral smell hi david nice to see you um, and we've also got uh, sorry and it's also got hotrionol hotrionol is a terpene in this tea especially if it's bitten by leaf hoppers, and that hot trinol gives it a real kind of muscatel honey note. So, as I said, they gave me an easy one to try here because that's a very, very classic aroma. I guess they didn't want me to mess up on my first attempt on live. Can you see on the leaf that it's bug bitten? Actually, you can't really. The bugs are so, so small that you, you could probably pick up a little bit of uh, some markings on the leaf. But a lot of tea sellers, they'll kind of show big holes um, in the leaf and go, look, it's bitten by bugs. That is really not a, a good marker. The bugs are so, so small that you're probably just going to see a little bit of uh, discoloration and less of um, any kind of holes. But really, it doesn't have to be bug bitten in order for it to be a good tea. It just means that if it's bug bitten, it's the next level tea. You get those hot trionol um, terpenes uh, developing in the leaf that give it that real honey, honey note. So it will still have that bright freshness and the smell of the dry, li the, the wet leaf is one of the most amazing, amazing smells. Um, on one of my more drunken moments, I actually described it as kind of the body odor of an angel, um, which sounds a bit ridiculous, but I was a bit uh, tea high at the time. But it is such a powerful aroma. Anybody who knows um, Oriental Beauty or Eastern Beauty will know how wonderful it smells. So if you haven't tried it, definitely, definitely pick some up. Okay, so I think I'm gonna start to wrap this up unless you guys have any other questions. Um, as I said, we're just trying this out and then we're gonna see what we can do uh, for our next event. Um, please remember to vote for us at the Time Out Love London Awards. So as I said, just go to Google, type in Love London Awards, and uh, if you could uh, find us, we're in Camden Town, that's the borough that we're in, and you can find us and vote for us. Maybe, maybe, it's a bit of a David and Goliath battle here, but maybe we can topple Camden Market. A tall order, I know, but you know, it's, it's worth being positive, you never know it might just happen. All right, guys. Well, I am going to sign out now. I hope that you enjoyed this very brief live event. The next one will probably be a bit longer. We'll have a bit more of a, a format to follow. If there's anything that you want to see, any behind the scenes, anything that you want to, um, that you're missing uh, out on from our YouTube and from our Facebook posts, then please let us know, fire them over, um, and uh, we will try our best to uh, make those live events for you. So take care guys, keep drinking the good stuff, stay away from those tea bags, you know the score. And I will see you in our next video. Bye.